Hey, hi. <clears throat> How are you? Hi, sir. Hey, hi. I'm fine, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, you're able to hear and see the candidate? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Okay, yes, fine. And I think there is some, the, there is a lag from my end. Okay, sure. Uh, then I think you can take it ahead from uh, your end or when there's a from here. Thank you. Sure. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Hey, hi, how are you, sir? Yeah, I am doing good. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So the thing is, I think you are working for currently, right? Yes, yes. That is correct. Yeah. It's like, yeah, more. So, and previous to that, actually, you have worked with, yeah. And there, actually, how long you were working there? Actually, I joined there last time around. Okay. Okay. Maybe actually, first I introduce myself to you and then actually we get started from there. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm the hiring manager. Okay. So, what we do is actually we just do a little bit briefing. Okay. So, about the project and other things. Okay. And we look at the, the standards fitment and we just have like a brief discussion. Right? And then, I, like, uh, there are a couple of rounds of uh, technical rounds that we have. Okay. And again, actually, I'll meet the candidate uh, once again at the end. Okay. So, the first round and the last round actually you, you, I usually take. Okay. Again, for the senior uh, resources okay if they are like junior resources we will have a different uh, process okay okay got just it. about the brief okay and maybe towards the end of the meeting i'll actually like explain you about the project and on the uh, the role okay and the okay. tech stack what we are using okay maybe actually now we can get started with yourself okay so maybe to start with uh, you can actually brief me about yourself and your current roles and responsibilities yes i have around years of experience in java and it's related to technologies and uh, in my current organization uh, i am working as an individual contributor like uh, we are working on uh, spring boot microservices architecture so the role like uh, we can consider uh, requirement gathering and after that uh, uh story card whatever assigned to me and after that completing the stories we need to have uh, one uh, demo session with product uh, team as well as of now we are working on this apart from that uh, we are uh, using ci cd pipelines for deploying our application so we have to provide the demo on, on that yeah when it comes to actually the development uh, you talked about actually the stories which were assigned to you you work on those things right so what kind of work you usually get uh, like is it like more around the back end or the front end or the design kind of work what kind of work it will be like yes so in my client side we have like two types of work rt work and regular work regular work like backend work only we usually using microservice architecture and apache kafka and okay. backend tasks and on the client side actually you have mentioned uh, you have been uh, using angular 4 uh, uh, right so do you have any working knowledge on angular 4 not currently organization but in the previous organization i got chance to work so you have the hands-on experience yes yes Okay. And uh, how about actually like uh, your exposure on uh, uh, the Spring uh, framework and uh, the Hibernate frameworks? Uh, I did I see that in your resume? Yeah, uh, okay. you mentioned about those, right? Yes. JPA, Hibernate, and uh, Spring. Uh, correct. Yes. Yes. So. It's Spring started my career using Spring only. So <laughs> Spring 3.x that time I was using. Now it's converted to Spring Boot. And uh, about database connectivity, uh, initially we used Spring uh, JDBC template. Uh, and yes. Hibernate uh, sometimes I used in my uh, previous organizations. And currently we are using Spring Data JPA. Okay. So do you guys use any connection pooling uh, with along with Spring? Uh, yes, uh, we used. Yeah. Which, which connection pooling you guys are using? Generally Hikari. Uh, connection pooling we are using any other connection poolings you are aware of i i try to remember actually I, we have used earlier also in spring dbcp uh, DBCP, yes. yeah. so can you just explain me about your current project okay so uh, currently i am virtually uh, provide so that is the current project right uh sorry i haven't mentioned my client project so oh, okay. Uh, okay so yeah so so that was actually, okay okay that was your previous project you are saying yes 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 Okay, okay, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You are talking about your current project, right? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. And the, uh, so does this actually application has any UI? So let's actually start with some Angular thing. Okay, so will you be comfortable actually discussing about the Angular? Okay, okay. So let's start with some basic things only, okay? So uh, Angular actually the framework itself provides like a lot of things, correct? So it has something called as uh, directives. It has something called as pipes. Okay. So what are these directives and what are these pipes and where exactly we can use these things? Uh, direct 
directives in the sense like uh, yeah what happens in the HTML code there is nothing is dynamic so to provide it dynamics we can use directive like uh, ng for for looping and okay, uh, okay. ng if for some condition if you want to so hide then we can use it mm -hmm. think. Uh, those are actually like something which are like provided by the framework itself okay framework. and if you want to kind of add our own directives how, how we can do that okay and in what okay. scenarios actually we might need to kind of write our own uh, directives in such case we need to write uh, custom directives and uh, mm -hmm. like tag we can uh, okay okay you work more on angular js more uh, right uh, angular the, yeah. am, am I understanding? yes yes one point okay, because i saw actually a couple of projects you have mentioned angular js correct yes yes angular js and jquery correct yes yes okay. Yeah, do you have uh, uh, any ID with you, uh, Eclipse or uh, IntelliJ or any any ID where we can write a small piece of code? Yes, uh, I will open. One of the project you mentioned, so this was done for uh, which company? I think the application is hosted on HTTP uh, and it's accessible, right? Uh, like uh, to the outside world. You yeah. mentioned actually one of the link actually. I'm just actually okay, okay. answering your resume. Okay, okay. So uh, that was I. Uh, just I opened NetBeans. Uh, you mentioned about using Glassfish, right? Uh, yes. So can you just tell me actually which scenario you had used it and what were your findings with the uh, usage? Yes, yes. Uh, so uh, that was application server actually. What happens? We are going to deploy this. So what happens? Apache Tomcat does not have that time uh, that much application server related things. So we need to configure one JNDI related things. So that's why we have deployed uh, one more server that is CentOS. On top of CentOS, we have deployed uh, Apache Tomcat, but it was not picking up those things. So uh, because it was application server, so we need to have one application uh, server. So either we have uh, WebLogic or Glassface. So Glassface, I think that was uh, free of cost maybe. That's why they have used. Mm -hmm. So, were you able to open the... Yes, yes. Uh, I will share my screen. Uh, are you able to see my screen? It has come up. Okay. okay. We will be actually writing a very simple uh, program actually. Okay. Okay, okay. So, let's say actually I have an array of numbers. Okay. okay. And it has like both positive and negative numbers. Okay. What I need is, I need the sum. Okay. Let's say actually the two numbers together make a sum of 10. Okay. And the numbers can be anything in the array. And let's say if there is a number called 6 and 4. 6 mm -hmm. and 4 together makes 10. So, I want the index of 6 and I want the index of 4. Like that, how many our combinations we have, right? Those many mm. combinations I need. Okay. Did you get the question? Okay, so you have an array, an array and uh, we have a number. That is uh, the sum of two numbers. Correct. Okay, so, so these are two inputs to you. Array of numbers and the sum. These are two inputs to you. Uh, yes, okay. Yeah, I will write. Maybe you can it. actually define an example array. So what do you want in return? Has map or something like no, that? I want the indexes of the two numbers which form the sum as 10. Only indexes you want. Okay. Yes, only indexes. I need. So, for example, if you let, let's say actually if we have four numbers, okay, one, three, nine, six, two, one, three, nine, six, two, okay. So, in this case, one, nine, nine, nine will become ten. Okay, 10. So, the index, index, what I need is zero and two. Zero. Likewise, actually, we can have like any number of combinations. Maybe add two as well. Actually, uh, add seven as well at the end. Seven. So, in this case, actually, like two combinations will get one, nine, nine, where the indexes will be zero and the three, and three and seven, where the indexes will be one, nine. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Got it right? Okay. Get indexes. Okay. So this is the method, and now I need to write the logic. Correct. First, I will iterate from this, and second, if I run loop one time, then it will, okay, two times I need to run this loop then. Okay, I have 10, and if I minus 10, it will return 1. If I find 9 in this, then I should add those values here. In such case, uh, at first position, what I will get, 0th position, I might get this uh, 1. I will get the element and uh, what I will do, element, okay, whatever the value I will get, uh, rest match value. Then this value I will pass with this function, okay, here actually 
to index we will need on line number 27 right you have tried to initialize a variable x correct uh, yes so correct. can we actually like really initialize a variable in a if condition okay get index yes zero and two it should print but uh, okay no problem it should print those values yeah. many a times uh, in our logs and all uh, during the runtime we get uh, stack overflow error correct why do we get actually stack overflow error take overflow error generally what happens if we are uh, running some recursive application and we we are unable to resolve those uh, executions so then what happens uh, it uh, continuously execute and once uh, the memory is full and it will give us uh, that stack overflow error like recursive application i have seen if we forget we have used infinite loop also then might uh, we might also get that error yeah i'm pretty much done from my end so do you have any questions uh, for me ah uh, yes yes i have uh, like i i'm curious about the projects and technology stack uh, you are looking for uh, so that i can also improve my knowledge on those things yeah so the thing is like uh, we are recruiting for a product called prince with vision okay so okay. before I, I don't know actually whether you've got a chance to kind of go through our uh, website and look at uh, uh, the domain and uh, uh, things what we are working so did you get a chance to look at the website and all uh website sorry i did not get that much okay, sure. no no problem yeah. no problem no problem so uh, eps is into printing domain okay, okay. so okay. and coming back to the technology stack it's all java g2 tech stack so on the client side we are using angular okay on the back end we are using java java 8 we are using and along with that we are using hibernate Spring, and postgres database okay okay so it's okay any any other questions you have no no i'm uh, i'm good now thanks okay. thank you so much for your time i will improve definitely my knowledge uh, based on this discussion thank you okay thanks for your time so our hr will get back to you okay thank you okay thank you bye bye